Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers, and n is a natural number. Then, ab to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Okay, to start with the proof, let's give ourselves two real numbers, a and b. From here, we're going to proceed to show for all natural numbers n, ab to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. And we're going to show that using mathematical induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So really, we want to show that ab to the power of 0 is equal to a to the power of 0 times b to the power of 0. Well, let me start out by writing ab to the power of 0. Now, we know that any real number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So, ab to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And 1 is equal to 1 times 1. And we know that 1 is equal to a to the power of 0, and 1 is equal to b to the power of 0. So, we have shown that ab to the power of 0 is equal to a to the power of 0 times b to the power of 0. So, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n, where this is true. The whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. That is, we want to show that ab to the power of n plus 1 is equal to a to the power of n plus 1 times b to the power of n plus 1. Well, let me start out by writing ab to the power of n plus 1. Now, we know that ab to the power of n plus 1 is equal to ab to the power of n times ab. And by our induction hypothesis, we know that ab to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. And from here, it's pretty easy to see that we could just do a to the power of n times a to get a to the power of n plus 1, and b to the power of n times b to get b to the power of n plus 1. And we would be done. But let's actually just be careful and apply the commutative and associative laws in order to arrive at that. Well, to start, let's apply the associative law by moving this parentheses around a to the power of n and a. And then let's take this parentheses and use the associative law to move it around b to the power of n times a. And then notice we're going to apply the commutative law to swap b to the power of n and a. And then we're going to apply the associative law again to move the parentheses that we have here around a to the power of n times a. And we know that a to the power of n times a is equal to a to the power of n plus 1. And then let's apply the associative law to move this parentheses around b to the power of n times b. And then we know that b to the power of n times b is equal to b to the power of n plus 1. So, what we have shown here is that a b to the power of n plus 1 is equal to a to the power of n plus 1 times b to the power of n plus 1. So, this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So, we have proven for all natural numbers n, a b to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. So what this proof shows us is if we give ourselves any two real numbers, a and b, and any natural number n, this will be true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.